Yo! What up guys, welcome back to another one. Today, we're back in the city park and check this out. Holy cow, look at that. Ton of lessers, just a ton. Man, this is our golf course and it is absolutely loaded. So over on this side, this is a different portion, but this is a hill right there. If you can see that hill on the other side of that, there's probably a thousand birds. Oh my goodness, I've never seen this many birds on the golf course. Wow. And then it wraps around to the right there. Wraps around that hill heavy. Goodness. So last year I did a video of uh, my city park and I videoed a lot of birds coming into land and uh, sure enough same thing late season trends with these old Canada geese I'm telling you what they get comfortable and they pick the craziest remote public places you could think of to feed I mean it's crazy in town little bit I found some crazy feeds today uh, just driving around looking for snow geese because we don't have any snows just insane feeds weird weird places that they just stack up and they love well check these two lovebirds out got two honkers just roaming around there are a ton of honkers but the lessers man there's honkers like this <clears throat> all the time here at the park even during the summer uh, honkers still graze the golf course they roost on the city park ponds where people fish and uh, yeah late season trends here with these lessers though to see that many lessers stacked up on the golf course I've never seen that many I'm telling you, you can't find a snow goose one here, but if you come to our city park, let me tell you, I can show you as many Canada goose as you'd like. Well, found a couple snows. They're on the golf course too, if you didn't uh, if you didn't already know. There's a little group there, yeah, I got some snows in it. Check out uh, these three stud muffins. When I was talking earlier, I was talking about behind the hill. Yeah, there is about another 700 more. Insane. Oh, well, leaving the park here. Um, I recorded that because I figured you, you guys would like it. Uh, last year I made a video over the park and the geese. And, and uh, it, it did good, but today's video is all over decoys. And not only just decoys, but I got to do a huge, huge trailer arrangement. I got to arrange a ton of full bodies. I got to basically take all the white full bodies out of one trailer, put them in another, take all the dark decoys, all the Canada decoys, duck decoys out of my trailer and just basically what today's strategy, what today's plan is all about is basically getting ready for snow goose hunting. It's been here for a week but I think it's really gonna start ramping up here really soon. So I gotta get the trailer ready. I got a lot to do today. Oh my goodness, what is this guy doing? Oh my god. Bob. What are you doing? What are you doing? Did you come out to help? You didn't come out to help? It's kind of cold to help. It's really cold out here. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm making a mess for you to clean up? Yeah, I'm not cleaning it up. Will you help me? Sure. All right. Dang, babe, thanks. Jeez, I need to take you hunting more often. You're quite the worker. Yeah. I thought I was gonna be out here doing all this by myself. My old mama's out here helping me. What we're doing is we're filling up the seed sacks. Like I told y'all, I bought these new seed sacks. 12 bucks a piece, brand new, out of the package. And you can load probably 10 or 15 dozen full bodies in each of these bad boys. Oh, well, like I was saying, I've been needing to get this done. I didn't want to do it by myself. The wife's out here helping me. We got one seed sack full. We got some, uh, we got some more full bodies here, but we got this one here. Ah! Oh, God! Gee, many Christmas. What are you doing in there? Golly, I go in to get a drink of coffee and you do something like that? It's too easy. 
Too easy? The best to scare. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have invited you out here to help me. Yeah. Oh, man, that wasn't as bad as I thought. I told my wife, I told Beth, I was like, hey, better film this because these are bound to be heavy, but we condensed them down into two bags instead of stuffing one really tight. They're actually really manageable with one person. Pretty nice. Uh, finally got that done. <laughs> so, like I said, the goal for today is to get my trailer, the new trailer, all of the snow goose stuff in it. So, all of the Tyvek suits, all of the rubber suits, all of the remaining socks, and all these darn full bodies. Full bodies, they always work. It doesn't matter if you're hunting or if you're just reorganizing them. They're always a mess, and they always work. Oh well, we are finally done loading this bad boy here and thank goodness for the wife's help getting those full bodies done. But check it out, we got all the snow goose decoys, we got the A-frames in here, the panel blind, dog blinds, all the socks are out back there, and all of our full bodies. Now up on the shelf, I do have like eight flyers. Only thing I'm waiting on, the only thing I'm waiting on to get in here is I ordered two of the Snow Goose clone decoys. They're the flappers. They're called, they're clone brand. They're expensive. They're extremely, extremely, extremely expensive. And I bought two of those. So we'll have to get those in here. I'll have to get some 12 volt batteries for those two uh, clones. But everything's in here and ready to go. We got all of the Canada stuff put away. Yeah, it's a sad day. I hate to put all the Canada Goose decoys away, especially all my dive bomb silos. I'm still going to leave the Canada uh, dark socks in there, the dive bomb socks. I'm still going to leave those in there because, because if we do lay in them, I think that sprinkling some dark socks in with the white will really, will really give us some movement. It'll really change the pattern up. And I think this year, it's hard, you know. I haven't even done a uh, snow goose hunt yet. Conservation season has been open for over a week, literally over a week. And I have not set a spread out with my e-collar. Yeah, it's, uh, it baffles me a little bit because last year during this time, I was biting at the bit to get my e-collar out in the field and, and, and lay down in a white spread. Last year was a lot different, as a lot of you know. So this year, it's going to be very select hunts. Going to be doing select hunts. Going to be very cautious on uh, sitting spreads. Last year, we had a lot more juveniles in. It was easier to just uh, kind of go with the wind, go with the flow, and set up a spread when you find a feed. But this year, man, nothing but adult birds. It's hard. Let me tell you, it's hard. It's not easy this year. So if you guys have been wondering, you're like, dang, man, Bobby. Why haven't you put out the e-collar yet? Why haven't you went conservation hunting yet? Well, it's just because in my area right here, the birds are gone. We gotta wait for the next round to come back on through headed north on the reverse migration because we don't have anything right now. The only thing we have is a ton of ducks and a ton of Canada geese. And I mean a ton, they're everywhere. I find, I find feeds every day, just like the golf course today. We're loaded with late season dark geese everywhere. The last thing to do now is to uh, take the old trailer with all the Canada stuff in it. I'm going to take it out and I'm going to go put it in storage for the entire summer. So the hunting season's almost over. You know me. I'm going to be doing the pigeon hunting. I'm going to be getting after the crows a little more. And we're going to get after the snows as much as we can before it's over. But, like, I wait all year. I wait all summer for hunting season to finally get here. And it's like, boom. It's over. It's like, I just have so much fun. I'm so busy while it's here. It's like, man, did you enjoy it enough? Like, did, did you really enjoy it enough? Felt like I worked the entire time. <laughs> but uh, it's worth it, you know? I love hunting. It's my passion. It's my hobby. It's my love. I get to do what I love. And I get to learn every day more and more and more. Just like scouting today, watching the golf course, late season, 
geese, every year they do the same thing. So it's fun being able to learn these birds and put forth my time making videos for you guys, but learning for myself. Because that's what I love most is learning. Learn, learn, learn. You can never learn too much. Speak of the devil. Check it out. That's what I love about living where I live. Oh, there they are. There's our white guys right there. What up, whiteies? Where are you headed? You headed back to water, are you? Yeah. Lots of Rossies. I can hear them in there. Literally, thank goodness for Rossies because they have saved this year's uh, snow goose conservation season. Rossies, they like it. They like to give it up over the decoys. The big adult snows, the big ones, they're not so easy to intrigue. But when you have Rossies around, that's where you can, uh, that's where you can get into them. But I came across an amazing video, and I mean amazing video. Roll the clip real quick, would you? Yeah, so my buddy Daryl right here on Instagram, that's his video. Shout out to him for letting me use that video. I came across it last night and it really shows the amount of action. Not, not just the noise, there's a lot of noise, but the amount of action, the amount of movement that are in live snow goose feeds. I mean, it's incredible. So on my Instagram right here, if you haven't followed me, give me a follow, would you? I put up a post and I'm like, hey, how do you mimic this with decoys and with e-collars? And what we have today, as far as decoys, full body socks, how do you mimic that? But as you can tell, what I'm getting at is how do you mimic that? How? How do you mimic that much movement and that much realism? I, I don't know if it's possible. That's why it's so hard to entice these snow geese to give it up in the spread because think about it. If, if a snow goose is 10 years old, 15, 20 years old, 4 years old even, think about how many spreads it's seen. Think about how many live goose feeds its feet have landed in. Think about that. And, I, and it, it's, it's thousands upon thousands upon thousands. It's basically twice every day. So just think about what they're used to seeing, especially when snow geese are so active while they're feeding. Canada's, lessers. Even specs, they're not near as active. They're not near as vocal, and they're not near as active at all. Snow geese never stop walking, running, moving, putting their head down, feeding. I mean, they never stop moving. So all my snow goose hunters out there, uh, I'm going to ask you guys the same question. How do you mimic that? How do you mimic this? <laughs> You guys need to put your two cents down below. Comment. Give your two cents and be like, Bobby, I think it's this. And if it's a funny comment, drop it down there anyways. A lot of people have said balloons with helium in them on strings. You know, little, little, just a little bit of wind would do a lot with a helium filled white balloon. Never know. So, drop your comment down below and let me know. But I do want to give my wife a big old thank you, honey baby. For helping me out did a solid for her man today thank you babe and thank you all for giving me your two cents all the time tell me what videos you want me to do and what you don't want me to do again if you have an idea for a hunt a video a how-to video drop it down below and let me know because i need i do need some ideas for videos just like this one one of you guys had requested hey bobby do a video on how you uh store everything for the summer how you kind of get out of regular season and get into snow goose season and that's what today was but I hope you guys really enjoyed. If you haven't, head on over to the DucksWaterfowl.com website and check out all the dope merch we got over there. But I want to thank you guys for being here like always. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be able to do what I love every single day. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you haven't. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.